In tonight's battle, Little John takes on Evan the Broski in a three-round contest at Zubar. Each round is a challenge carefully designed to test a player's ability to seduce women in a real-life battlefield. Across town at Kai Lounge, our expert panel of pickup commentators, Alan, Sheldon, Peaches and Chris, will closely critique each player's performance and crown a single champion. The prize, a spring break party vacation to Daytona Beach, Florida, courtesy of Breakaway Tours, a keys to the VIP Champions Ring, courtesy of Titanium Era, and an epic VIP event for the champion and his closest friends at Lot 332 Nightclub. Let's take a closer look at tonight's players. Up first, little John. Hey, how you doing, everybody? I'm John. And this is my home away from home. If I had to describe myself in one sentence, I'd say it's just too difficult. I'm multidimensional. I encompass everything. It's easy to alter the way people think of you. Not real. I can do whatever I want. I'm smart enough to get away with it. Right now, we're at my shoe store. This is where I work every day. The shoe store makes me comfortable around hot women because there's a lot of contact, a lot of very sexual, subtle touching that allows you to get close. I'm here every day getting numbers. Guys, here we are. The bachelor pad, the bedroom, the dining room, the office, entertainment center, and the view. The type of guy I'm hoping to battle is I want the typical meathead prick. My biggest advantage, especially against a meathead, is that I'm smarter than him. I'm the ugly duckling, I'm the success story, so I'm representing for all those guys who got no love in high school. Oh, it's go time, buddy, it's go time. You, done. I love seducing women because it's a challenge. It's one of the only things in life that is still challenging to me. Everything I do, I figure out quickly and move on and get bored from it. Women, for some reason, they still confuse me. This is gonna be a great match, and no matter what, the guy who wins it is the guy who deserves it. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I love them right off the top. There's something quirky about them. There's something lovable about them. You just, you just wanna be his buddy, you know what I mean? By the looks of his apartment, he's used to working in tight spaces. So let's see if he's able to do that tonight. But you know, he, he, he mentions being confused by women and challenged by them. Let's hope tonight he figures out the Cadbury secret and he, he gets into the winner's circle. If you're gonna pick a fight, you pick a fight with the biggest guy out there. That way, if you win, you're a hero. Yeah. And if you lose, you were supposed to. It's not that bad. Yeah, this is uh, Revenge of the Nerds here with John. Yeah. I love how he's out to prove something now, finally. He feels that it's his time. And uh, the whole angle of being a salesman, I, I, he's used to conversing with people and selling. And I think he's going to be able to sell himself. You know, the Chinese say, careful what you wish for. And in this case, I think we've tracked down the ultimate meathead, the ultimate prick. Let's take a look at Evan. And now, Evan the Broski. I'm Evan, welcome to my palace. <laughs> welcome to my room, ladies and gentlemen, let's go! Over here, this is my trophy case. Each one of these bottles represents a fantastic night for me. Women look for the guy who's gonna be the dominant male. They don't want the romantic type, they want the guy who's a dick, who's gonna challenge them, who's gonna make them be like, well, gee, He's nice, but he's a dick. Girls, come on. You know you want to be with me. Why not? What? 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 Let's go, boys. Looking hot, ready to go. Look fine. Women, be ready. Here I come. Women need a man. They want a guy who's not afraid to be the dick. Because guys, we're all dicks on the inside. You know it. I'm not going to cook you dinner. I like my steak, medium rare, and vegetables, some potato. Why not? I'm a man. I'm not going to be a bitch. I'm going to show you a guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can clap. You know, I'll applaud his, <laughs> his pre-game yeah. bravado because yes. right now it seems like he's trying to convince himself that he has the physical attributes and the mental state required to be a genuine asshole. I absolutely loved his setup there. It felt to me like we were about to watch a heavyweight fight and they're trash talking at the weigh-in. Yeah. I can't wait to see what happens in this one. Yeah, I think somebody forgot to take their meds before their profile here. This is a bit over the top. I think he's a little pussy cat inside. Like, I, I think this is all a facade. But he has to realize, just because he's got one doesn't mean he has to be a dick. I, I swear to drunk, I'm not God, you know? <laughs> I think this guy is gonna end up waking up tomorrow morning with another empty bottle on his chest and wondering what the hell happened to me last 
last night. <laughs> we've got John, we've got Evan, we've got a monumental battle that's about to start. Let's check it out. Coming up after the break. My name's Evan. You can't shake my hand, huh? Ooh -ooh. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we've got a fantastic matchup. Our first game is Oh Mama. We got Little John. Let's check him out. In round one, each player must initiate a pickup by convincing a woman she reminds him of his mother. Hello there. Hi. Hi. I thought I'd kind of smoothly, you know, yeah. just kind of ease on in. What's your name? I'm John. It's a pleasure. Jen. Jen? OK, sorry. But I just wanted to say to Jen that she has this kind of classical look. Hold on. Kind of a classical style that reminded me of my mother. Thank you. I um, Well, just respectable, at least. Ooh. Body language. I just felt that the temperature <laughs> on the bar barometric pressure <laughs> just decreased by five degrees. Well, should I just at least like pull her over for a second just to talk to her? One minute. OK. One minute. Jen, come here. Nothing says man like sliding your arm behind a girl's lower back and directing her where she needs to go. Fantastic work here by Little John. Okay, maybe I could call you, right? And then we just go out for drinks. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just start slow and then go from there, build a bit of a rapport. Yeah. And then, you know, I cook you dinner and, you know, we go. Do you want to maybe give me your phone number and we'll go from there? I don't know. I don't think you can give my number out. Just, just this one. <laughs> <laughs> Just this one. 905. 905. Jen. Little, little kiss on the cheek. Thank you. It was a pleasure. I'll you talk did. to you in a minute. I'll be back. You know what? <laughs> this is very good stuff. Yeah. I, I, we haven't seen this in a while. Chris, what are you thinking right well, now? Well, if he hadn't had his collar up, he might have gotten a kiss back on the cheek. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did a great job here. He separated her from her friend. He, he did the play on words at the beginning, showed that he's a nice guy with an edge, and he knows how to play the game and escalate. Well done. This was clinical. Yeah. Absolutely clinical. And it's like that young UFC fighter. No one really knows much about him. Yeah. That's why he was asking for the champ. He wanted the big guy so he could send out a message to everyone with a big knockout. He's, he's a little guy, and I'm glad to see that the underdog is making some hay. You know, he's like the work done, a pickup. He, he's small, <laughs> but he's effective. So I'm really happy to see this. You know what? It was a fantastic first game from Little John. Let's check out Evan the Broski. Are you girls doing tonight? Why? You're smiling already. These are nice. I actually really like these. They're not yours. They're not yours. They're your friends. Look at her. She's, I don't know. You don't like Oh boy. <laughs> That first girl ignored him like he was the middle stepchild. <laughs> so his energy it doesn't match what we saw in the profile. Yeah. I'm, I'm a little confused here. They always say the empty vessel makes the most noise, right? Yeah. And I think that's him right here. Can't shake my hand, huh? You know what? Thank you, sir. For reminding me of my mom. How old do you think I am? 20. 21. Why? How old are you? Right there. Is that a problem? No. It's kind of pathetic. <laughs> is, is that a problem? <laughs> well, you know what? Listen, Leslie, I gotta get back to my friends. I love very my nice hair, and he's like, my hair. You think I can get your money? Your number, yeah, sorry? Yeah. Again? Okay. Five What's your number? 905. Take care. Have a good day. Uh, I don't know, guys. <laughs> Here comes a guy who was beating his chest. Yeah. He's to be the king of the jungle, yeah. and, that, and that's it? That's his roar? He, he got the results, but he didn't live up to the, the profile that he gave us. Yeah. He didn't live up to the, the, the chutzpah and the moxie that he claimed to have. So <laughs> I give the edge to John here. Well, it's she just... was more interested in that cigarette than she was him. Yeah. Like, that, this was brutal. I mean, I think my boy, the good guy, yeah. has more of a spine than your uh, prick guy here. Yeah. He said he was going to be a tiger, basically, yeah. and he ended up being a pussycat in the field. But he got a number. <laughs> So, to me, uh, you, know you what, gotta guys? say it's equal. You say 1-1? One, one? Gotta Chris, say 1-1. One, one. Hey, you know what? Let's give this guy a chance, because my boy John's gonna pull it out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he just, yeah, we'll keep it even for fun. All right, 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Let's take it to the next round. Coming up after the break. And if your friends had to pick a guy... Hold on, hold on. We got a game here. Yeah, so do they. <laughs> and when we return, Chris reveals the power of the sudden kiss. Pay 
attention. Class is in session. The subject, seduction. All right, this next tip is high risk, but when done right, it's totally worth it. I'm talking about the sudden kiss. It should only be attempted when you know attraction is there. As for the move itself, it couldn't be more simple. Just grab her and kiss her. The more spontaneous and unplanned, the better. Kissing her this way sends a very strong message. You're not her friend, you're not her pal, you're her lover. The sudden kiss is this crazy, romantic, movie star move that when done right, will stir up more sexual energy than she'll know what to do with. But like I said, you gotta make sure she's into you. Otherwise, it could backfire big time. Proceed with caution, boys. You know what, guys, we saw a fantastic first round. John, I think, edged out Evan just a little bit. We called it 1-1. One, one. Peaches, what's the next game? We got point taken. Let's see these guys rock. Let's check out little John. In this round, each player must ask a group of women to rate him on his looks, style, and personality. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do that one more time. One more time. Wow, wow, wow. I don't like boys. I don't like girls. You like girls? What do you, what do you say? Do you like girls or do you like boys? Yeah? Okay, but, 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 if you had to pick a guy, if you had to pick a guy, and if your friends had to pick a guy, hold on, hold on, we got a game here. Yeah, so do they. <laughs> you girls want to do a game? What is the game? If you, if you didn't just like girls, what would you rate me out of 10? Personality, fashion, First down, I don't know you. Okay, well. Fashion, you look cute. I like the try. Okay, like so let's shirt. do one out of ten fashion. What do you give it? What do you give it? One out of ten for fashion. Nice. Okay. The next, the next one is looks. Okay. What do you say? What do you say? It's all on looks. Nine. Right? Nine. Nine. Okay. What do you say? Oh. Oh. How's that for personality? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I thought you didn't like guys. I didn't even know you liked guys. Oh, now she likes guys. So for personality, ooh, 9.5 and a 9. OK, I'm going to be right back, but that was awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> I like, I, what he, I like what he did at the end there. Leave him wanting more. You don't have to get the kiss closed and the phone number every time. Sometimes a little mystery is fantastic. The man who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. And let me tell you, that's a smart man right there. Yeah, I love this kid. I mean, he comes in, he's so disarming. He matches their energy, he creates the game. He even broke in on a makeout that was going on between the girls and it embraced them, and that, that's huge. You know, I think they're gonna be marching in a different parade, and it's gonna be behind John. <laughs> it's fantastic. Obviously, he's been here before. He's so calm and confident, and you know, a repetition is the father of learning, and this guy's done this before, and the results speak for themselves. All right, let's check out Evan, the broski. For a guy who's been chirping all day, <laughs> yeah. he really has to prove something in this round. Better. How are you ladies doing tonight? Good, how are you? I'm very good. I like that. That's a very nice top. <laughs> It's got the, no, no, it matches the sign at the front. <laughs> it's got the zebra. I really like it, it's cute. What's your name, Terry? Megan. Megan? I'm Evan. So, uh, I wanted to ask you, out of your group of friends, yeah. how did you guys think my introduction was? You gotta work on your game a little bit. Little thanks, bit more, little thanks, more. thanks. Thanks, thanks. That's very nice of you. You don't go up to a girl say, I like your shirt because they think that you're looking at a group. No, 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 no. But that's the first thing that's going on. But, but, you didn't have like a lot of things to look at. But like if I wanted to look at boobs, I'd look at yours. But, but <laughs> look at this girl. She just like, she doesn't know what the hell's going on. Yeah, she does. She knows exactly. What does she know? You say a little too loud. Is that what? What about her shirt? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, idiot. <laughs> wow. He's wow. getting shredded. I'm an idiot. Yeah, you just went down to like two. That hurts. Yeah, I know. That hurts. Thanks, Hi. girls. Okay, ladies, take care. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? When he first approached the group and he had them all laughing, he really had a chance. And then he kept talking. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Chris, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, his demise was his you know, lack of linguistic skills. When he came in and he insulted one of them, well, they're friends. Yeah. They're going to band together against you. They don't know you. Yeah. So what do you expect? 
he got what he deserved. I hope he's able to recover from this because it's so brutal to watch. <laughs> Buddy, just go to the bar, have a Jaeger bomb, and maybe you'll get back, you'll get back your dignity in the next game. I think she did a great job stepping in as a judge. She told him that his game sucked, she told him that he was an idiot, and she told him to leave. Yeah. That's all that needs to be said. Perfect summary. All right, guys, one nothing in that game for John. Definitely. John's in the lead. Evan, the broski, he's got to really pull something special out in this next game to win this one. Let's check it out. Coming up after the break. You're kind of ugly, but you're really intriguing. <laughs> and later, the exciting conclusion to tonight's battle. All right, guys, we've had the David and Goliath uh, episode so far. John's been showing an unbelievable amount of game. Chris, what's the last game we Let's got? take the shackles off, give him a clean slate, no rules, freestyle. All right, here's little John. In round three, each player has five minutes to impress us with his unique seductive prowess. How are you girls doing tonight? Right, why are you not drinking? You have no, you have no money? Would you like to get a drink with me? Yeah, you want to go? Can, can I steal your friend away to get a drink with her? Okay, you know what? I will I will be two minutes. I'm going to bring your friend back. Safe and sound. Yeah, she she even did the check back to a friend and went, yeah, I'm going to be just fine. Hey, cheers. So, you know what? What I really wanted to do, the reason why I stole you, was so I could possibly uh, take you for a drink later. Maybe meet up and, you know, go on a date or something. Is that something you would be interested in? Yeah, it, it, Now, it would require me getting your phone number. Like, that's, that's, that's the thing. And possibly even a kiss on the lips. Oh, I love it. <laughs> wow. I love that coy little smile. He's disarming. He's, a, he's got that charming young boy look. OK, so what is your number? 519. Right. It's stored. Now, it's that moment. Are you ready for it? Okay. So I'm going to lean in. And you're going to come in the rest of the way, and it's going to be beautiful. You ready? Now, I think you have to get back to your friends, because they were very particular about me stealing you. I'll see you in a minute. Wow. Well done. Well done. Oh my goodness. Little John, he came, he saw, he conquered, yep. and he delivered yeah. tonight. Sheldon, what are your thoughts? I want to see Little John no more. Cross it out. Yeah. This is Big John. Yeah, that's right. He baby. has come. <laughs> this has been quite the coming of age story here for John. You know, he, he's, he's claimed to be this nerd growing up, and I mean, look at this now. He's reaping the benefits of, of being a, an intelligent young man, and he's made me proud. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> One of the most subtle things about his game is the use of his eyes. The power of eye contact and its ability to convey meaning and, and to bring out connections is what he has down pat. This guy's fantastic. Kudos to him, the underdog achieved today. All right, well, unless Evan is having a threesome with two strippers from Bangladesh, I don't know what he's going to do in this last <laughs> round to pull himself out of this. Let's check it out. I love how you guys are all watching her light her cigarette. You know what? I got to tell you, you're kind of ugly, but you're really intriguing. <laughs> wow. You know what? This girl has every right to punch him across his face yeah. right now. I think I appreciate the different approach. The different approach? Yeah. Something new? A little different, yeah. Can I have a little kiss? For my, my inspiration to try something out. <laughs> something new. A little different? A little different. That you hadn't heard of? What? Okay. I'm going to plot him here. <laughs> Well, for the first time, Ooh. he lived up to his profile, and yeah. look at the results. Yeah. It's great to finally see it, but I didn't want to see him succeed at it. Yeah. You know what? I really like your necklace. No, you don't. I really do. No, no, no. You know you what these know are why? for? What are they for? They're for later. They're for later? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> the hunter has become the hunted. Yeah. Do you even remember my name? Wait. You just made out with me. Three times. He's assumed the role of the woman. Do you even remember my name? <laughs> <laughs> that hurts, whoever you are. Oh, it hurts. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Give me your number. I'll call you on a weekend. And we'll see what happens. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'll make out with you, but you're not getting my number. Do you have a phone? I have a telephone machine. You have a telephone machine? Yeah. OK, here's my number. 
One eight hundred. Wait, wait, wait. Don't call me. You know what? He he punked her off. Yeah. Because yeah. he was upset that yeah. she didn't remember his yeah. name. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> now I've seen it all. We need to get this guy a bottle of wine and a, and a container of ice cream <laughs> to eat away his sorrows. <laughs> yeah. It's horrible. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> He, he should have been looking for a phone number for a local taxi company. Yeah, yeah. You know, instead of worrying about getting her digits. She handed herself to you and you dropped her. And he, she took control and he didn't like it. And he got a little sour there at the end when she's like, there's no reason to change numbers here. I gave you the go ahead. We really saw some artistry from, from little John. I don't even want to critique uh, our friend Evan anymore here. I just want to celebrate little John. Chris, what are your thoughts? You know, on one hand, we had Evan turning straight girls gay. Yeah. And we had John turning gay girls straight. Yeah. It was phenomenal. <laughs> this was such an amazing performance by my boy John. He made me proud. Well done, buddy. You know, the thing about Evan is he, he's obviously born on April 1st. The guy had no clue what he was doing here. Uh, John, on the other hand, was the, the picture of calm and perfection, and I think he did a great job today. You know what? It's only through the darkness that we can see the stars, and Evan provided a lot of darkness here. He didn't get a girl. He got shot down. And you know what? We can just celebrate John for the glory he did today. We found the biggest prick we could find him. Not only did he bully him back, he beat him up. Yeah. He handed him his ass. And for that reason, yeah. I raise my glass. Enjoy the ring, the trip, and of course, the VIP experience. Yeah. Newly dubbed Big, Big John. John. There you go, buddy. Cheers. Congratulations, Big John. Enjoy your party vacation, your Keys Champions ring, and your VIP experience.